Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for the 18th, 19th, and 20th of January for Scorpio. Hi Scorpio! Decent week? I hope so. I hope so. As always, I am using my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. And also, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. Scorpio, we are coming into, on the 20th, we start Aquarius season, which is air energy, okay? Now, with that, we have a full moon, which is in Leo, which is fire energy. Now you say, well, how does that affect me? Well, full moons always affect people to begin with, but this is going to be a particularly strong full moon. For one thing, it's a super moon. A super moon is a moon that's very close to the earth, so it appears very large. Also, there's going to be an eclipse in the moon. Now, it will start around 9 or 9.30 um, Eastern Standard Time. It will be something that the east coast of, the, of North America will see mostly, but you, know, you can still go out and take a look at it. They, with the eclipse, it'll take a couple of hours, actually. I think this is like a long eclipse. It's going to be like two hours, I think. Look it up on the internet. Also, when it's in the full eclipse, it will appear to be red. So they call these, a, call these blood moons. So this has a lot of, of, a lot of divine energy with it. So go out, make use of it, give up things, take, ask for things, you know, just, just use that energy because it does affect water signs. You know, full moons affect water signs. They affect the tides. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. So just be aware that if not you, that people around you could be more emotional. But this is also um, times, that's why it's really good to check your ascending, rising, moon, um, and Venus. This is also for um, Aquariuses and Leos, a new book for their lives. So if you have any of those signs in you, yeah, this, that will affect you too. Okay. So let's go on now. This is for Scorpio. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. Okay, nothing is really jumping, jumping. Let's go and cut, cut, cut. Three cards down. See what we have to say. See? So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. First card. We have the two of air. Now that was funny because prior to me starting the video, I was shuffling and this popped out, but I had not started the video. So to me, and I was thinking Scorpio, so that, that's going to be, so being unable, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem, so delusional, so being delusional, um, two things, okay, but let's go and see this one is, um, but that is the word I heard, you know, deluding, not delusional, deluding yourself how's that <laughs> that's a little that you're not you're deluding yourself okay let's go in this is reversed release archangel Azrael. also too i'm getting kind of a headache on my side so you know as i'm reading for you i'm feeling kind of a stress headache here just be aware of that the end of a phase or a situation spiritual transformation time to move on so okay so this is really kind of strong this is very very strong what i'm what i'm what i'm getting here is scorpio you know we've talked a lot about um you know if you're in your hole stop digging i feel i feel that for many scorpios whatever this really stressed situation is you may be coming to the bottom of it at the end of it um Again, too, I'm not saying that it's going to come out the way you're wanting because the, the deluding yourself keeps popping into my head. So that's my angel guides telling me, you know, deluding yourself. But at least I feel like you're actually going to have some time to breathe again. I don't feel like you've been doing a lot of breathing. I don't feel like you've been doing a lot of, um, you know, I, I, I mean, I don't, you know, you might, you might talk a good game and you might say that, you know, you are, but... I don't think you are actually putting yourself in a still, you know, still motion and meditating, praying, connecting. But I feel like right now these are some good days to do that and to be re, you know, re-energized. 
re-energized, especially going into this eclipse. This one is reversed, so let's see what this one says. The seven of Earth, so Earth energy is our Virgo, Taurus, and our Capricorn. So it's your money, it's your home, it's what you can feel, what you've built, okay? It's the concrete, it's the, you know, it's, it's, it's real, okay? Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So again, unnecessary worry, the end of a phase, situation, spiritual transformation. It's, I feel like you think that you can, okay, I feel like whatever is going on, it's not in your hands, okay? It's not in your hands. If you, you know, if, if you are, okay, maybe because I know a Scorpio that's doing, if you're building a house and there's delays, it's not in your hands. No matter how much you yell at the contractor or, or the builder, it's not in your hands, okay? At this point, at this point for these three days, it's not in your hands. There's nothing, you know, there's, so I'm going to tell you that, you know, the, you know, don't, you know, if you like to hold on to that stress, okay, if that makes you happy, hold on to the stress. But most people, it just, oh, and I'm feeling my stomach hurts. I'm feeling like I'm getting a stress headache and I'm feeling my stomach hurting for you, Scorpios. So what I'm going to say is let it go. Let it go. Give it to your higher power, your divine, your guardian angels, your angels, your, you know, your, your spirit guides, whoever it is, give it up to them because I'm feeling, like I said, I'm feeling my stomach's hurting me and I'm feeling this major stress headache. And it's telling me, these cards are really saying that, you know, look at, re-look at how you're looking at stuff. Because you can use this full moon to put, and all this energy, to put an end to a lot of stuff and to start over again, to start your life again. Because in many ways, I feel like you have had your life in stalemate right now. And this is a weekend for you to, you know... I, I, and, and two, I, I feel that, you know, this is a weekend to make amends and to start over. Make amends and start over. It's like this is more your New Year's Eve. I feel that this is like your New Year's Eve, you know, and I think that New Year's Day needs to have resolutions to go forward. Okay? So now that I'm done, my headache's going away and my stomach is feeling better. So yeah, it's still going to be an emotional time for you, um, Scorpios, but you have some choices that you can give this, you know, you can just say, I don't, I, 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 can't, I don't have control over this. And there are a lot of things we don't. Okay, Scorpio, just know I love you. So, you know, you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.